Direct News TV October 1, 2023 Russia-Ukraine War, List of Key Events, Day 585 Fighting The Ukrainian Air Force shot down 30 of the 40 Iranian-made Shahid-136 drones launched by Russia in an overnight attack on Ukraine's central and southern regions. Natalia Humeniuk, a spokesperson for the Ukraine military's Southern Command, told Ukrainian TV that Russia continued to attack port infrastructure. Targets included facilities on the Danube River as Moscow attempts to blow up critical infrastructure to impact the economy, she said. Romania, which borders Ukraine along the Danube, reported a possible violation of its airspace during Russia's drone attacks. The defense ministry said as drones were detected heading towards Ukrainian territory near the Romanian border, an alert was issued for residents in the Tulsia and Galati municipalities. The radar surveillance system indicated possible unauthorized entry into national airspace, with a signal detected on a route towards the municipality of Galati, the ministry said. Russia's defense ministry said its air defense shot down nine missiles launched from Ukraine over the western Belgorod region, which borders Ukraine's Kharkiv region. Officials in Russia's Bryansk region, meanwhile, reported disruptions to power supply following an unspecified attack on the town of Pogor. The United Kingdom's Ministry of Defense said a meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and former Wagner Group Chief of Staff Andrei Trashev suggested Russia would continue to rely on private armies in its war against Ukraine, despite the short-lived Wagner mutiny in June. The update from the UK's military intelligence noted that Trashev had taken up a role with the country's official security forces around the time of the uprising and that Putin had now tasked him with setting up new, volunteer fighting units. Russia marked a year since it claimed annexation of Donetsk, Luhansk, Zaporizhia and Kherson, for Ukrainian regions it partially occupies in Ukraine's east and where a Ukrainian counteroffensive to take back the land is advancing slowly. In an address, Putin claimed the residents of the regions had made their choice to be with their fatherland in a referendum a year ago and in recent elections. He also said the annexation was carried out in full accordance with international norms. The annexation has been condemned by Ukraine, its allies, and at the United Nations. Diplomacy and Politics Ludomir Blaha, the deputy leader of Slovakia's opposition SMRSSD party, dismissed accusations that if they were to win this weekend's elections they would move the Central European nation closer to Moscow. It's nonsense that we would be pro-Russian or pro-Putin, Blaha told the DPA news agency in an interview. SMERSSD has said it will end military aid for neighboring Ukraine. The European Union's foreign policy chief Josep Borrell visited the Ukrainian port city of Odessa on the Black Sea to see firsthand the effects of the war, including in Odessa's Old Quarter and the historic Orthodox Cathedral of the Transfiguration, which was badly damaged in July. As he toured the cathedral site, Borrell called the assault on the city barbaric. Weaponry Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who organized a forum of the international defense industry in Kiev, announced the establishment of the Defense Industries Alliance to step up domestic weapons production. The foreign ministry said Ukrainian producers signed about 20 agreements with foreign partners for joint manufacture, exchange of technology, or supply of components to make drones, armored vehicles and ammunition. It will be a mutually beneficial partnership. I think it is a good time and place to create a large military hub, Zelensky said during a meeting with United States, UK, Czech, German, French, Swedish and Turkish arms manufacturers. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg addressed the forum by video and said that Ukraine needed high-quality, high-quantity military capabilities. Heroism alone cannot intercept missiles, he told delegates, adding, there is no defense without industry. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.